1969 supposed moon landing, right? They've landed. They did a few wheel spins on the moon, played a bit of golf, jumped back in the lander. They're now flying back to the orbiter where Michael Collins is filming them. This is where we join the action. Let's have a look. Notice around the craft you're going to see a thin line all around the outside of the craft that's blurred that gives you the impression it's been layered in, all right? Fake, obviously. What's going on here? I don't know if Neil and Buzz, when they were on the moon, they picked some wild mushrooms and got hungry on the way back and things got a bit trippy or what? I don't know. But the music they're playing here is bang on for uh, Neil's driving because he's all over the shop. Just watch the way this craft manoeuvres around. If you can't see this is fake, <laughs> there's no hope. Locked within these rocks were secrets of the ages to be studied and deciphered by the scientists of Earth. The age of the moon. How'd you work out the age of the moon from some petrified wood? you work out the age of the sun from petrified wood? How the moon was formed. <laughs> how do you work out how the moon was formed from petrified wood? A fucking joke, but let's just watch this craft now. Dear oh dear. How life began. Was there ever life on the moon? Was the moon once molten and volcanic, or has it always been cold and dead? Was it once part of the Earth? Or was it a wandering planet captured by the Earth eons ago? How hot was the sun three billion years ago? <laughs> Who gives a flying fuck how hot the sun was supposedly three billion years ago? Who cares? You can't prove it, so why even bring it up? Unless it's propaganda. You fucking joke this moon mission, my arse. The only thing about the moon mission that's real is the fact we've been mooned by these clowns since 19 fucking 69. And now we re-review this footage, bearing in mind, telemetry data's gone, most of the astronauts are gone. The only thing we're left with, which is classed as evidence, is fucking comedy gold footage like this. Fucking moon landing. That's enough for me, I'm out. If anyone believes that the, the moon landing's real, just after reviewing that footage then, oh. 
I don't know what to say to you. I really don't. I do, actually. The best of luck. Look after yourself. Be well. That's all I can say to you. And stop watching fucking TV, for fuck's sake. Moon landing debunked. Just based on their own footage, their own claims. I'm calling the moon landing utter fucking nonsense. Just a real quick video. This is obviously the Apollo 11 moon landing <laughs> post press conference. Man's greatest achievement. They left here on a rocket, went into a vacuum, circled a ball, landed on it, drove about, played some golf, came back, docked with an orbiting craft, and then flew back landed in the ocean, came back. An amazing, amazing achievement. An incredible adventure. And we joined them at the start of the press, press conference. They're literally oozing excitement, adrenaline, still buzzing at the after effects of this incredible journey. Let's have a look. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Apollo 11 crew, astronauts Neil. I've got to tell you, they've just come back from the moon, yeah? The greatest achievement of all time. I look happier on a Monday morning before I'm going to work. Armstrong, Michael Collins, Edwin Alden. Neil? I mean, anyone with any common sense here can already see they're lying. They're uncomfortable. I don't know the situation behind it, but I, I mean, we saw the footage, the Apollo, one of the Apollo landers taken off a few weeks ago, how terrible the production of that was. And of course, we saw when Neil and Buzz were coming back from the moon, supposedly, last week or whenever it was, and he was all over the shot. Just terrible, it's awful, it's fake. And if you needed more evidence to, to, to just satisfy yourself, not that there's enough evidence already, you only need to watch these two, these three guys. Watch their body language. Watch the sketchiness about them all. Watch the awkwardness about it all. It's obvious. It was our pleasure to have participated in one great adventure. It's an adventure that took place not just in the month of July, but rather... I actually feel sorry for Neil here. I, I feel sorry for him. No wonder he became a recluse. One that took place in the last decade. We all here and the people listening in today had the opportunity to share that adventure over its... When you do something that's out of the ordinary, especially this dangerous, like flying on rockets, landing on balls, flying through vacuums, getting back in rockets, coming back to another ball, you do stuff dangerous like that, you're filled with adrenaline, you're buzzing. You do something like that, you'd be buzzing for days. Come on, look at these three guys. There's no adrenaline involved with these guys. Only awkwardness and sketchiness. It's obvious. I keep saying it, but it fucking is. Developing and unfolding in the past months and years. It's our privilege today to share with you some of the details of that Final month of July. Zero, zero, zero. We won't go on much longer. But you get the point. You got three guys, sketchy as hell, awkward as hell, supposedly come back from a great journey where they'd be filled with adrenaline, buzzing. And look at it. Look at them. That was certainly the highlight for the three of us. Wasn't it just, I'm sure you couldn't control yourself, Neil. 
It's a joke. It's just all one big pantomime. And when you know, you know. It's just so bloody obvious. Anyway, enough of that. We've seen footage before of these guys. We've seen this footage, to be honest, of these guys before. And people pointing out the body language. I just thought I'd put my little take on it. It's just obvious. Cheers. This is the Apollo 15 lander. They're back to blast off home. The stage prop or the lander has been put on uneven ground. So it's slightly tilting to the left. We're going to see this thing blast off. In my opinion, what you see is a distractional little party popper type explosion. And then you see the pod that leaves it. The bottom of it, the moment it leaves the lander, the bottom of that pod that they're in, supposedly, levels out, i.e. goes horizontal. It levels out. Rather than travel in the same direction it's facing, it levels out instantly. I would have thought the rocket went in a straight direction and continued, but it levels out instantly. And I'm going to show you what I think is going on in a second here. But let's just look at the footage. Levels out and then it glides off to the left. It's just Automatic. Glides off to the left, okay, in relation to where it is now, okay? Let's just come back here. Again, this thing will, you'll get the party popper distractional explosion. The bottom of it will level out and it'll glide off to the left, okay? Let's watch again. see already it's leveling out here totally leveled out and gliding off to the left okay and once more now I'm going to show you what I think is going on here Right, just to show you what I mean regarding that craft taking off from the moon. I would have thought when it took off from its position on the uneven ground, tilting to the left as we look at it, it would just go like that in a straight line. Okay? Straight line, in line with its landing gear. What actually happens is it corrects itself the moment it engages. You get this little, little distractional explosion. And then you see it. Exactly what you, you see when you pick something up that's on uneven ground. It centers up immediately. Watch the bottom. This is exactly what happens with that craft as it leaves the landing gear. It levels straight out from the angle. What, as soon as the weight's engaged, levels out. And again, weight's engaged, levels out. Weights engaged, levels out. Once more, weights engaged, and it levels out. What you also see is it just slightly glides off to the left. Now, it could be one of two things. It could be either a crane that's centered up over the top, and because it's on uneven ground, which was their downfall, props department put it on an uneven ground, turn to make it look like the rough terrain of the moon. They didn't think of the practicality of the, the hoax. Because, quite clearly, they're not using a rocket. And like I said, when you pick something up on an even ground, when you pick stuff up, you centre up over the middle. But when it's on even ground, the bottom will be out of sync with the top. So you'll pick it up and it'll kick out slightly. Just like we see. Ten, watch as the weight engages, levels out and kicks out slightly. That's what we see. Now, I think it could either be one or two things. A crane lifting it, and it kicks out because it's on uneven ground. Or it's a balloon that's tethered, that's off-center, to give it the impression it's going up. But, of course, they can't hide the fact that it levels out the moment the tether is cut, and, of course, the weight of the, the prop is engaged. 
it'll go up and then it just glides off to the left. So that's what I think is happening with regards to that.